Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, now Wednesday, number 19 day for this month of July, 2023. My name na Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman, sense past king, Lukong, wuna welcome to another episode of our daily podcast, a program where it bring wuna the truth, it bring wuna meaningful information, fact-based analysis, for help we as we the worker for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. I go start by telling our people, say the day is done for our people. I will be addressing our nation this weekend. For over 65 years, our people them, they don't be tossed around the waters like a boat where it be on rough waters. Our people have been guided misguided led misled by the good the bad and the ugly we are in a very dangerous time where we have politicians and groups presidents upon presidents with people suffering from megalomania or what professor carson anyangwe will call the peacock syndromes that are dominating our public and debate on the space of our national identity and the trajectory of our territory for the past seven years, we know enough from the various countries that have run the Security Council, which is the top decision-making body on issues of state recognition. The British have had the chair of the Security Council. It has come and gone. The Russians, it will go very soon. From African Union to the European Union, we can now know for certain what works, what do not work the degree of flexibility of international sympathy and interest and what we can do and what we cannot do. We know our capacity, we know our resilience, and definitely we know to what extent the good, the bad, and the ugly in the international system can go to cover up evil, injustice, as well as to push for justice, for peace, for democracy in this part of the Africa continent called the Ambas Bay. Fellow Ambazonians, our destiny is in our hands. And if we do not take control to steer the wheels of this movement of our liberation struggle, our destiny will be determined by forces beyond our right of self-determination. Our history must be a source for us to draw credibility, a source for us to draw good standing, not just to fuel our anger or use to blind our sense of judgment, but to use it to maneuver the reality of our geopolitics, to lead our people to progress that secures a pathway for Ambazonian independence, that secures justice for our people. There is an easy pathway that looks good, but the end is disaster. Ambazonian self-determination, Ambazonian territorial integrity, our identity and our prospect for independence is the most cherished gift that God has given us. And we must do everything humanly possible to protect, secure and defend it. The greatest danger to our freedom and our independence will come from the blindness, our anger, and misconstruct history given to us by people who suffer from megalomania. We must wake up to look in front of us, drawing inspiration from our past to help us navigate a very treacherous way to secure safety, freedom to our people or receive death, slavery, and mockery for the rest of our generations, for our people. I will be addressing our people to inform them and to educate them on our international effort that the Ambazonian People's Right Advocative Platform is pushing to deliver victory and to secure a pathway to independence for our people and a tenable solution for the Ambazonian War of Liberation. At least the truth is out. You now know the policy that has led to the death and execution of these individuals in Bamenda and the death 
and execution of several people around our territory that you might never have known if you have thought that you could cover up this crime the ambazonian light that i carried have made sure that the truth is out on both sides the truth must be spoken and only the truth shall set us free and i guarantee you you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free i will do a series of released to help educate our people to help to shine their light and open their eye so that they can have their freedom the ambazonian soldiers on the ground are being used to control some of the ambazonians leaders in the diaspora because of desperation and megalomaniac that we have suffered from groupism our struggle is not in our hands economic interests in our territory have taken total control of a liberation struggle that all ambazonians of all stripe rose up to fight for our people who sustain this liberation struggle by demanding for separation staying at home every monday to demands for independence have been totally cut off from the reality and the diaspora groups who were supposed to lead this struggle provide moral guidance leadership dip diplomacy have also become a victim of this struggle they are not in touch with reality they don't know the reality and they are also being used good species will not save ambazonia what is happening in the ground what is actually happening in ambazonia you have heard of the cameroon government forces who were fighting from babanki and they end up executing one of their colleagues a operation that was done by sejan maganga they were fighting about munition these are people who supply the weapons that are being used in ground zero to fight the weapons that are being supplied to Ambazonian forces, 60% are now being supplied by the Cameroon army. The Cameroon intelligence have a direct control of policies in the Ambazonian theater of war. We are now being set up in a position where our liberation struggle and our goal for independence, the fight against marginalization, the fight against Cameroon criminality, the fight against Francophonization, the fight against the forces that have taken hold and dismantled our infrastructures and our administrative infrastructures that have ruined us, taken us far back into our history. We are worse off than we were during the period of forced labor of the Germans. These forces are in total control of our liberation struggle. Those in the diaspora with sweet tongues who make good speeches will not help Ambazonia. They themselves are a victim of this system that have taken hold of our country. In Ground Zero, uh, we have fought this battle. Economic interests have taken total grip of all Ambazonian forces in the Atlantic state. Interests in CDC, the supply of Supermon, and other financial products have been used to create a black spot where both the Cameroon ministry and individuals who support the war are now benefiting huge from financial income that comes from this cartel and our forces who are also been benefiting hugely from these forces this financial interest to stay alive today what you see in bamenda what you see across our territory forces are have fought in the corridors of defense and in the back door for ambazonia the deal of manfe and the cameroon delegates of mines in Bamenda, in upstation Bamenda. These are the two bosses that controls the vast majority of policies of the Ambazonian side and that have created and manages the account of money that have been flowing into our territory since we sabotaged Sonera. The sabotage of Sonera have created a big opportunity of billions of dollars that are flowing in into La Republic du Cameroon and in the hands of certain generals in Ambazonia that have made our struggle not to be a struggle to focus on fighting like the public have made the cameroon government to pursue policy within ambazonians from the time of chris anu of excess lockdown to policies of the lockdown today today the lockdown in mezam to facilitate their trade of petroleum from nigeria 
the Nigerian DSS is on this case and they are fighting hard. And the Ambazonian people, it's time for you to know. Ambazonians who run and manage the Ambazonian forces on the ground. You have the cartel boss called My 90, Divine, Pangwa, Juska, El Shaddai, who have now opened a bank, a credit union, that helps to clean this dirty money that is coming from Ambazonia. These are the people who pays the real salary of Lele Afrique, of Okala Bilai. These are the real people that funds the ministers in La Republic du Cameroon who are making millions, millions a day. Ambazonian soldiers who have been brought in to fight these schemes, who have taken hold of our struggle, the vast majority of them have been compromised. That is why you see they want to maintain the ban against brasseries, even when it has no sense, even when it makes no rationier, even when the rationier that they provide for it is no longer in hold. They want to put that ban in place to maintain the ecosystem, the ecology that have been established in Ground Zero, where you have fat cats in La Republic living fat, generals in Ambazonia being secured, checkpoints in Ambazonia being secured and having arrangement with La Republic to come around military. The fix is in. Fellow Ambazonians, our liberation war, the struggle we started five years ago, is not in your hands. It is in the hands of people who do not want this war to stop. It is in the hands and total control of a faction in the Cameroon government who are manipulating the chips on the ground and Ambazonian megalomanias in the diaspora. People who are so desperate to become leaders and relevance have now become a face and a front for what is actually happening on the ground. I will be bringing you details of all of these things to substantiate what i've put to you today in a series of released to help our people so that together we can collectively establish what we all started for seven years ago a fight for freedom a fight against cameroon state we must do everything humanly possible we are obligated by the price we have paid so far and those who have gone ahead of us giving their life for freedom to make sure that their goal and our mission is accomplished and that all forces eternal and external that have diverted this struggle and a noble cause for the people and ordained struggle for our people do not become a curse for those same people who have stood up high who have been resilient for all the ambazonian villages who this monday the 17th stayed at home to make a statement that Ambazonians have risen to fall no more and that reasoning will overcome scavengery and that for once in our life once in the history of our people they will not be toasted like a boat on a rough sea but they will actually have sound wisdom knowledge clarity to decide on their future and establish for them a future that will benefit the man on the street the one who have been left behind against all art. Ambazonia shall prevail. Justice shall prevail. The good shall prevail over the wicked. God bless you all. Have a good day. Capo Daniel looking out for you. Signing off.